Hello everyone, welcome back. So today I have a, another pick a card here and this pick a card is going to be all about the portal that we are having on April the 4th of this year. So it's the portal 444 and we have three options for you guys as per usual. All the timestamps will be pinned in the comment box. All my information is always in the description box below. Um, Again, take everything that I say with a grain of salt. This is going to be a pick a card to see what, what light codes are being activated within you during this portal. So we have Petrified Wood. We have Super 7 as option number 2. And then we have Lapis Lazuli as option number 3. So with that being said, if you feel like you need more time, feel free to pause the video whenever you are ready. Click play and fast forward to your selected option. So let's get started with option number one. So let's see. Option number one. Okay, for those of you who picked option number one, let's see. What is this portal opening up for you? I feel like a lot of stability and grounding energy is going to come through for you guys. That is just what I'm picking up here. I do feel as well as finding um, a better outlook in your situation. Okay, that's kind of the energy that I'm picking up here intuitively. I feel like also a lot of wisdom as well will be coming in for you guys. A lot of answers to problems or challenges that you have been facing as well. So let's see. A lot of stability I'm hearing. Balance. Okay, so we're starting off really good. Gratitude. Let's see. The strength card. Okay. The four of cups. A lot of yellow and green. The courageous pony. Multifaceted. The man holding a coin. So this is telling me that there's a lot of masculine energy coming in for you guys through this portal. Focusing on your stability, finances, trying, harmonizing, flow, going with the flow, not pushing. The queen. Wow. Soulmates. So soul connections partnership agreement love unconditional love and cupid's arrow wow okay so for some of you what's coming is love and i'm not surprised because i did a podcast with um emily so fill your cup podcast you guys know if you watched it last month i did a podcast with her and this came through we did like a overall energy for the month of april so if you want to go and check it out go ahead and do so it will be out on thursday so this thursday so for you guys 444 the portal what it's doing what it's activating for you guys is that masculine but i do feel like it's going to be balanced because we do have the man here holding the coin and we also have the queen so this is telling me that you're going to be in an energy of balance okay your masculine and feminine energies are going to be good you guys are going to be feeling very grounded very stable i do feel like if things have been rocky you're going to enter this energy of just going with the flow okay going with the flow not going against the grain i do see here that there's going to be an energy of gratitude with you guys okay regardless of your circumstances i do see that there is this going to be this activation of just feeling very powerful feeling very strong feeling like you know it's okay you're going to be very patient, okay? And I see that you're going to have a lot of passion for something here with the strength card. I do see that many of you, my left my left ear is ringing. So with the strength card here is telling me that you're going to be very much devoted to something. And for some of you, I do see here that there is a particular person who might be coming in and showing you their devotion to you, okay? 
I do see that here, especially with the soulmates and the love and the Cupid's arrow. For some of you, this could be a Leo coming for you um, in a positive way, right? Really showing you and making you feel like a queen or a king if you are a male. I do see an offer coming in. For some of you, this could be that love offer. For others of you, it could be a career offer as well. And I do see here that just for you guys, the energy of 444 just feels very harmonious. It feels like it's very, it's going to bring in a lot of benefits for you. I do see you just being very confident in yourself, tapping into that creativity. You're going to be very much into your element here with the elemental kingdom. You're going to be in your kingdom exactly like the lion, you know, the lion. He is the leader. He is the king of the jungle. So with the Courageous Pony, I feel like for many of you, you're going to be asked to show yourself, to show your unique nature, your multifaceted side to you. So I feel like you're going to be feeling very good, very confident. You're just going to be like, you know, this is who I am. This is me. No more hiding behind the mask. And you're just going to show yourself your true, authentic, raw self. And I feel like for some of you, there's going to be someone that you're going to catch that's going to catch your eye or you they're going to catch. No, how does it go? <laughs> um, they're going to look at you. OK, you're going to catch someone's eye. And I feel like this person, it's a soulmate. OK, it's a soulmate. For some of you, there's a contract. There's a proposition. I'm hearing a proposition coming through. I'm also hearing here you guys are going to be feeling in that energy of a lot of self-love. And that's why you're going to be able to show yourself for who you are and not want to mask it in any way because you have that self-love that that uh compassion for yourself so you're going to be feeling very good okay i also see here a lot of communication the birds i'm 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 hearing them in the background and i'm also seeing them here in the card birds so i'm thinking of lenormand energy here so a lot of maybe nervous energy with you guys maybe as you're you know, wanting to reveal yourself, you're probably maybe a little bit hesitant here. But I do see that you, there's also a lot of communication. So you're going to be in a lot of communication with a lot of people. There's a lot of like, I don't want to say gossip, because it's not gossip. It's just a lot of networking, socializing with people. Okay. And I do see that you guys are going to be partnership you're going to create you're going to be creating partnerships with a lot of people specifically with the male here. Okay, specifically with the Leo, whether they are female or male, that is going to be, you know, it's going to be different for every single one of you. But I do see here that someone's going to pull you out of your element, so to speak. But once you do that and you kind of let your hair down and let loose a little bit, you're going to find out that you are indeed in your element. Okay, I do see here as well. Um, with the number eight, you do need to be patient with the strength card here, okay? There's a need for patience. There's a need for um, not wanting to control things, okay? Do not try to micromanage things. I feel like you're going to be looking at that and you're going to be like, oh, okay, this is how that blocks me or this is how I try to control things. So I feel like that's going to come to your awareness and you're going to be able to kind of just absorb, uh, observe it and just release it, okay? I also feel here um, ego. Be careful with your anger. Okay, be careful with your ego. Let's see what else can I get here. I see a lot of support. I do see a lot of gifts coming in. I do see that you're going to be indulging again, being in that state of gratitude. Okay, I do see a lot of abundance, a lot of opportunities, a lot of luck being activated for you and this is all coming because of self-acceptance of your situation and of yourself for loving yourself unconditionally i do see for many of you that you are going to be falling in love okay i see for a lot of you that there is a surprise meeting right as the card says there is a surprise meeting here and there is hesitation so like i was saying earlier and i didn't even look at that card um there's going to be some type of hesitation to either put yourself out there or to kind of interact with certain people or with the group of people in particular. But I do see that they are soulmates. They are your tribe. They are kindred spirits and you are meant to work with them. Okay. I do see a lot of support. I do see a lot of 
just a lot of connections is coming in very strongly for you guys a lot of connections for you guys so this feels really really good i'm so happy for you guys and let's see anything any anything else let's see financial wise i do see, I, I do see that your needs will be met okay um i do i do feel like it's just an easy energy coming in it's going to be easier it's kind of the energy that i'm picking up here it's going to be easier it's going to be very happy i'm picking up a lot of yellow a lot of gold here so for a lot of you you might have a gold aura for uh during this activation code okay but this is also telling me of happiness of joy of abundance prosperity being activated all because of your self-love self-acceptance okay and again allowing yourself to be in your element that is a big one but what i love about this is that you're you're having balance there's a lot of balance coming in for you guys so that is beautiful in itself i feel like things were kind of boring or they were stale or yeah just boredom is kind of the energy that i'm getting here things are going to pick up there's a lot of connections fast-paced energy is coming in for you guys so that is what i have for you guys i hope this was helpful and now i'm going to move to option number two so for those of you who picked option number two the super seven crystal let's see what's being activated during this portal 444 i feel like with the crystal super seven i feel like even seven there's some spiritual gifts that might be enhanced okay <laughs> what did i say source divinity enlightenment yeah yes 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 so this is the this is the third eye chakra or the crown chakra I'm, uh, you guys don't come at me i'm not very familiar with the crown or the or with the chakras in general you guys so um but i do feel like you're going to be very connected to source and i did pick this up because of the super seven crystal and the number seven so you guys are going to be very much in tuned with the divine with your spirit guides okay with whomever it is that you call your higher power whether this is you know something that you consider is within or without you're going to be very connected okay you're going to be very much enlightened i do feel like it's going to act you might be feeling very much chills headache um you might be feeling ringing in the ears you might be getting i'm hearing even digestive issues okay for some of you i'm getting like your sleeping rhythms are going to be off for some of you so there is going to be like a period of adjustment here. Hidden motives. Okay, so a lot of you during this portal activation for you guys, you're receiving clarity about certain things. You're going to be shown things behind the veil. So for a lot of you, this portal, what it's going to do is going to reveal, you're going to have a lot of visions. You're going to have a lot of prophetic um messages coming through whether this is through your dreams through meditation through daydreaming through automatic writing it could take different shapes different forms for every single one of you but i do see that a lot of things that were hidden from you are going to be revealed a lot of motivation behind people's actions are going to be revealed to you even i'm hearing motivation behind why you do what you do is also going to be revealed here it's not always about other people sometimes it's about ourselves and so our guides are telling me right now that that you're going to be finding out certain reasons why you do what you do why you pick the people that you pick and why you choose to love or engage or run away from certain things it's kind of like spirit is revealing these things to you in order for you to heal them in order for you to make the changes that you need to make very beautiful a lot of blue here that i'm seeing so a lot of truth finding out the truth your truth right so powerful wow death yeah transformation death and rebirth you guys are having like a this portal is going to activate you on many many levels i feel like yeah with the two of pentacles you're making a decision you're making a decision you, you've been out of balance You've been juggling two things. You've been trying to decide something. You've been trying to find the truth about something. You've been trying to find discernment 
within yourself or about a situation. And I do feel like this portal, this 444 portal, what it's going to do is going to reveal the truth. And with that truth, it's going to come major transformation here with the death card. And I do feel with the death card, it is a card where we already knew this was coming. The death card is not like the tower, where the tower is kind of like surprise out of nowhere, blindsided. No, the death card is actually a card where we see, where we know that this was going to come to an end, where we knew that the cycle was already going to gonna finalize in some way at some time. So again, it's kind of like you already subconsciously knew, your subconscious knew, and the divine is revealing it to you, okay? Letting you know like, hey, you know, some of you, you're going to find out a truth about a Scorpio, sun, moon, or rising, okay um for others of you hold on I'm trying to ground my energy here i'm hearing you were holding on to something emotionally here okay you were holding on to something emotionally and i feel like you're going to be able to release it during this portal <laughs> timing trust your timing Trust the wave, speaking of emotions. Trust the wave where you came in. Time is not running out. And you know what? I didn't read running out. I ran. I ran. Yeah, exactly. I was I was reading, why are you running? Okay, that's what I read. So for some of you, you've been running away from something. You have been not wanting to make this decision. You have not been wanting to deal with this situation. And this portal is going to is going to make you decide. It's going to put it right in front of you. It's going to tell you this is the situation. This is the motivation behind it. What are we going to do? The temple path. Yeah, because you're meant to go on your path. You have people who pick this pile, number 12, very enlightened, right? We're talking about the hanged man here and the hanged man the story behind in tarot is this person this man hanged himself upside down to gain enlightenment he put himself in that position so for some of you you have been avoiding to make a decision or to go down a particular path because you were looking for enlightenment you were waiting for some type of divine intervention to come in for you guess what this portal is bringing it for you and why is that why is that important well it's going to help you decide it's going to help you because i feel like with the hidden motivation there was things that were hidden from you and i feel like all of this is coming all this information is coming so that you're able to continue on your path because i do feel like you've been going around in circles here and I feel like spirit is saying it's like it's enough. We need to we need to move you forward, okay? And I feel like for some of you you've been running away from your path. You've been running away from your life purpose. You've been running away from a certain situation or a person that you know you have to kind of address, okay? It's for your spiritual growth, by the way, you guys. And then we have square challenge so there is going to be tension it's not going to be an easy decision but for a lot of you putting yourself in this position where you were of not wanting to decide of not wanting to make this change of not of running away from something has kept you in this energy of challenge has kept you in this energy of tension of you know of uh, stagnation of losing motivation feeling pressured Okay, of things not working out. I feel for some of you, you're going to have the opportunity. But the Two of Pentacles is like you've been going back and forth with something. Okay, you've been going back and forth with someone, with something, in a situation. And I feel like this portal is going to bring in the information that you need to finally make a decision to get you out of this energy of stagnation, if you will. Of the energy of struggles. You're being re... Uh, I just heard preordained. So whatever happens is preordained, first off. Second, I heard you're being redirected, redirected on your path, okay? Because you have kind of, the image that, that I'm getting is kind of like, okay, you're on your path and there's like this boulder here. You could have easily avoid the boulder by going around the boulder, but we decided to kind of stay and try to pull the boulder or try to push the boulder out of the way. 
I believe that's how you pronounce the big rocks, right? Boulder. You try to move it and Spirit is saying you didn't have to kind of stay there to try to move this huge boulder. You could have easily, you know, try to push it maybe and see that it didn't go anywhere and you could have easily gone around that boulder, but you decided to stay. So again, you know, it, it was kind of like a, a self-imposed thing here. And so spirit is kind of redirecting you, redirecting you on your path, being like, hey, you don't need to push the situation, you know, just just let it, you know, just make your decision to walk away from it and continue on your path. The temple. Wow. You have the temple twice. Twice. <laughs> that is huge. You have, like I said, for those of you who picked option number two, you have a divine life purpose, a huge life purpose. Everyone has a life purpose, but I feel for you guys that picked pile number two, your purpose is very important at this time. And that's when you're being redirected on your path because you're, again, distractions and spirit is saying you have somewhere to be. We can't stay here and try to move this boulder. You have somewhere to be. Yeah, some of you got stuck in the past. Nostalgia. Kisses. Unconditionally loving, giving, receiving affection, falling in love. For a lot of you, you got stuck in a relationship. Maybe with a Scorpio, with an Earth sign. You know, and I feel like you did have or you do have unconditional love for this person. But I do feel like for many of you, this person is a person from the past. Maybe they came back around. Maybe you try to rekindle, try to uh, reconcile with this person. And so you're trying really hard to make it work. And Spirit is saying, that's just a distraction. You have to move on. And then we have, what did I say? You guys were avoiding something. Not today. You were like, not today. And Spirit is saying, well, this portal, is. It, there's going to be no more not today. You're going to have to deal with this, okay? You're going to have to deal with this. You know, I, I know it's hurtful. I know you've been avoiding this conversation. You've been avoiding this person. You've been avoiding this situation. But now it's the time. Because you got bigger and better places to be than in that situation from the past that has kept you stuck. So that is what I have for you guys. And... I'm going to move to option number three. So for those of you who picked Lapis Lazuli, let's see. What is this portal activating for you? Lapis Lazuli, a lot of past life healing I'm hearing, okay? Past life healing, speaking your truth as well. A lot of uh, spiritual abilities are, are awakening as well here. So let's see, winter, okay, reflection, transition, release. A lot of past life healing, or just even, not even past life, past like in your childhood, past few years ago, there's a lot of releasing. It, for you guys, this portal is going to put you in a period of hermit, kind of hermit type of energy here. It's going to make you reflect. It's going to make you look at things. It's going to make you transition, okay? Transition from one state of being to another state of being, okay? I'm also hearing here there's a lot of release going on. And I am seeing release in regards to old baggage, okay? Specifically, old baggage. We have commitment. So for a lot of you, you're looking at this portal. What it's going to do is going to make you look at and reflect at what are you committed to? What is it that really lights you up? What is it that's working for you? What vows do you need to cut? What promises did you make that are no longer good for you? What do you want to commit to? And making those arrangements, making those changes. What is it? What's worthwhile for you? For a lot of you, I feel like you're getting your, your stuff in order. 
okay your stuff in order in the sense of like your finances in the sense of your priorities i see you just organizing your life a lot like making things that are meant to be a priority and sticking to them i feel like your this portal is going to activate a sense of commitment within you to commit to your path to commit to your spiritual growth to your work to your projects to your family whatever it is that you want to commit to i see you just being very much um focused on that okay you're gonna find out what is it that you want to focus on the fool nice nice so with that will come a new beginning so it makes perfect sense as you're releasing and for some of you you're already probably in that stage here you were here right you were here and now you're now you're transitioning from going from this reflective energy, releasing energy to this energy of commitment, right? Now that you know what your priorities are, what you want to commit to, you're going on a different journey, you're starting something new, you're taking more risks in life. Um, you are, again, you had released a lot of the baggage. The fool is only carrying his essentials here in this bag. The four of swords very interesting right you see you see the play here the play of like winter like slowing down right there is this energy there's going to be this like uh push and pull energy with you guys with this portal there's going to be this energy of like yes i want to commit i want to do something new i want to you know start a new journey do something different and then at the same time there's going to be like this four of swords moment of like okay let me pause let me reflect let me let me take a look at things. Let me sleep on it kind of energy. So I do feel here that it's going to be a very uh, controversial time here. Okay. There's going to be a, a go and stop, stop and go, stop and go energy here. But I do see as well that for many of you in the past, you were very, uh, you were very foolish in your decision making okay or you were it was very easy for you to kind of like go in the heat of the moment of things and i do feel like now you're just gonna think of it from a place of commitment like is this something that i want to commit to long term is it something temporary i don't want it kind of energy here okay and i see you guys really thinking about the decisions that you're gonna make from here on and then we have the golden child okay the golden children inner child tenderness innocence and rare gifts so again interesting a portal right so we have here a lot of inner child and that's being mirrored here with the fool so i see you again this energy of wanting to try new things wanting to explore different things new doors new possibilities exploring your gifts exploring your uniqueness and committing to that whereas maybe before you didn't commit to that i see you now committing to that a lot more a woman holding a heart number 44 so we have 444 four, four. interesting because that is the portal 444 four, four. so i do see you again you're watching your commitments with others as well i feel for many of you it's kind of like if it's not serious if it's not something i can commit to long term i don't want it that's kind of the energy that i'm getting here and it's the same thing for your projects for your passions for everything like that i see you kind of being like okay you know, I need something long term. I'm done playing games here with the fool kind of energy. And then we have Mars, action, desire, impulse, courage, force, heat, strength, competition, workouts, excitement, thirst, impatience, anger, leadership, engine, potency, willpower, motor, and sex drive. So... A lot of passion a lot of passion coming in a lot of desire a lot of energy a lot of i see you being very courageous too you're like you're going after what you want here with the fool and the mars and the, the golden child it's kind of like spirits backing you up your spirit's golden child here and your spirit is like whatever it is that you want to commit to this portal is going to give you that drive and that energy and that impulse for you to go after it but the key here is you have to commit to it right 
you have to commit to it. Mars is the warrior. He's the fighter. So Mars will fight to get what he wants. So again, Spirit is saying, are you going to defend what's worthwhile for you? That's what this portal is going to ask you to do. That's what it's going to activate within you. And you're going to have the impulse. You're going to have the the energy to go after it. That, you know, that Aries energy here with the Mars. For a lot of you, um, there is this thirst. There is this like, you know, I want to do this or I want to go after this. And I see you kind of being like i'm not staying with that thirst anymore i'm going after it i'm also getting a lot of like very sensual energies coming through here in this pile so for a lot of you you're going to be feeling very sensual your sex drive might be very high during this time as well i see many of you just feeling a lot of the, the physical need to move okay so try to you know release it through meditation, if you can work out at home, do so. So let's look at your next cards. We have the destroyer. Okay, so for a lot of you, you are destroying something. And for some of you, it is certain things that you were committed to. Certain things that are no longer benefiting you or they're no longer making you happy or they're not allowing you to move forward in any way i see you destroying certain things destroying certain beliefs um certain pillars of stability that you have created because again you're reflecting on them and you're looking at them from a different point of view and you're seeing that some of them are not are not serving you anymore heart with the key a lot of you you're opening your heart to the divine and to different possibilities here for a lot of you you're committing okay you're you're, you're making your you know you're making a vow to commit to another person congratulations and then we have here separation so for a lot of you like i said some of you are committing, others of you are, are calling off commitments. And this could be on all areas of your life, okay, you guys? So I don't want you to think this is just relationships. Um, this is in all areas of your life. So you might, you know, be like, yeah, this is not a project that's for me. No, this is not a group of people I want to associate with. No, this is not the right, you know, job. Or no, this is, you know, you're making arrangements to your life. And then we have camera, reminiscing, keepsake, perception, learn from the past, make memories. So a lot of you are making new memories. For a lot of you, you are no longer staying stuck in this energy of reminiscing. For a lot of you, there might be a person that you separated from, okay, or that you gave a second chance to, okay, and it didn't work out. So you're just like, no. Okay, I want to make something new. I want to go on a different path here. And whatever it is that you're leaving behind, I see that you're committing to something else and this is making you very happy and you're very motivated by that desire, that thirst for something new. Okay, because I feel like wherever, wherever it is that you were stuck, it wasn't, it kept you in this energy of the four of swords of things not moving for you. Okay, so you're you're taking a leadership role here and you're making things move for you. So you're like, okay, if this isn't moving for me, then maybe it's not working. And so you're changing your uh your how do we put this? Your approach. And for others of you, you're just going in a whole different direction. You're like, I'm letting the past be the past, bygones be bygones, and I'm moving in a new, in a new direction. In a direction that is going to fulfill your heart. And that is going to, you know, quench that thirst. Is that what you say? Quench? I think it is. If not, well, too bad. <laughs> um, so that is what I have for you guys. I hope this was helpful. I wish you guys the best. Stay safe. Stay home. Take care of yourselves. Bye, you guys.